magic to this night and this tournament. Meanwhile, back with Harrington. And Harrington still fighting for his existence no at the way. UK Open. Roger Just two darts away from sense. squaring the match. Well, you do wonder. Russell had all those darts for the match and uh, missed. And uh, Harrington stepped in with that uh, double one. Saved himself. And now... Into uh, not happening there, Rodney boy. So 100, Russell, 120, 120 to Shanghai Harrington once and for all. And those were two really start. in different darts tonight. Double top for Russell. 80. Once again, he claws his cranium. Now then, 13, treble 13 ought to be Harrington's first start. Yes, double 16, classic escape route. Oh, long way away. Oh, Rod, that double 16 once upon a time was yours for the taking. Not now. Surely Russell isn't going to let him off the hook again. Once double 10, once double 5, everything's deserted him, but Harrington still has a chance to make it three all. Unbelievable. Well, once again, this could be the great escape for Rod Harrington. Oof, inside the wire. And the tram lines seem to be getting thinner for Rod Harrington. Blocking, he's got to aim high. Did so too much on the inside of the wire. And maybe that's his last chance. That should really be his last chance. Russell on double five. He too aimed high. Uh, he has made a mess of that too. <laughs> well, he's made a mess of it. And frankly, one has to say... He scored pretty well, but he doesn't deserve to win this match because he's had every opportunity. And now Harrington to level up at 3 all And if he can get that double four, and he does, surely now will bring his vast experience to bear in the decider. He throws first. He has been let off the hook today. Absolutely. And I just wonder, you know, John, that, that Lord Harrington, as you quite rightly said, was always deadly over on 16s and 8s for Dublin. That's where floor has developed into his game he seems to be much more comfortable on the right hand side of the board just wonder if maybe he, he should pick his doubles and try to leave 18s and fours and tens because he, he always seems to hit an elephant trap when he goes for 16s and eights yes good point uh, but uh, <laughs> i'm sure at the moment he'll just be happy to get down to any double at all on that board first and have a crack at anything because this is the vital play it's not been a cracker this by any means but it's been a real battle Harrington took the first leg then Russell took the next three breaking Harrington's throw in the third leg but Harrington has been given every opportunity in the last two legs by the 26 year old from Oxfordshire and he has every chance here now of homing in on victory He's getting far too many careless darts that are drifting both sides of the level, as you see there, 45. That isn't really heavy enough scoring at such a critical point of this match. 60. Nor is that, though. Nor is that. And uh, neither player here wants to win this game, if you see what I mean. Of course, they both do. Maybe they're both thinking about it too much. Much better dart from Harrington there. Absolutely precise in the treble 20 room for a bedfellow yeah dead right and another one here Dave this could turn this leg and this match great darts great darts that was magnificent and his previous throw was a 45 and you commented that just isn't enough that isn't enough but my how he's come back and how's this lad as well why it's amazing how the game suddenly wakes up. What three six for the match? Doubt whether he'll get it, but he'll give it a go. That's a great first dart. Wants another one of those for double eight. Look at that concentration there on Harrington's face. He's hit four consecutive. Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight scored. That's forty-eight left. And here is Russell, and uh, the match is beginning to slip from his grasp. Remember, he was 3-1 up, and he really is now beginning to look just a trifle desperate. 
with Harrington looking at 48. Had darts for 4 1, Dave. Had darts for 4 1. Should have won 4 1. And I think it's affected him. And now Harrington homing in on victory. Cannot finish it off. 41 left. He'll go 9 for double 16. But I don't think he'll be overconfident about this. But if he goes in, he'll win a game. And he does. That didn't look likely once upon a time. Now, yeah, Russell there must really be ruining that. And one of the great. He was really home and those missed doubles and Harrington just had enough experience, just had enough guile and style to steal the match. Well, he's really relieved as Alan Chamberlain comes on stage to talk to him. That was vintage, was it? Well, you say that wasn't vintage, but I was just about to say that's the Rod Harrington of all grinding out the result. Yeah, I know, but I'm not I'm not playing to the top of my game, which is frustrating. You know, when you hold the dart and it's not right, you know, it's frustrating. Come on, be happy for a I'm minute. Ha honestly, I'm, I'm, I am happy. I've, I've been happy since I've come here. The last couple of months, you know, things have uh, uh, great at home. And, um, you know, the, 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 the dart scene is, is going places with the PDC and Sky and Budweiser Green King. Um, you can't help but be happy for the players. You know, and I represent one or two of them now. And yeah, you do. You do a lot of work with Colin Lloyd. He's do. doing so well. How much has that influenced, influenced you to, to come back to form? Um, not a lot, really. No, I do too much work for him. No, um, I took on Colin Lloyd because um, I believe he's going to be a world champion. I think he's the only player that's going to take on uh, Phil Taylor. When me and Dennis Priestley fell off the top, um, everybody else can talk about beating Phil Taylor, but only Colin Lloyd has got the game to beat him at the moment. And I, and I believe that, and that's why I'm associated with Colin. Um, and I do believe that we've, got to, we've, 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 we've set down a regime now that um, he's out of the pack, right. out of the dark playing pack, and he's got to go to, Colin, uh, to Phil Taylor now. And uh, so we're working out a regime to get him fitter, uh, make him uh, feel a little bit... We've, we've got to improve his game by 5%, and he will take on Phil Taylor. Well, that is, we know how good Colin is. Let's talk about you again. Okay. What about you and Colin in the final, maybe? I've been in the, uh, I've been in the gym for the last four days. I'm going to lose a stone and a half in weight, which would take me down to where I was in the 90s at 14 stone. And I owe it to my, my wife and family to uh, have a go at this game because there's a lot of money there now. And um, it's very frustrating. The only thing that, that, that messes me up is when the, the caller says, game on. And then I start. That's no to, good. I know. I start to sweat and, and I get nervous, and um, I don't know how to cope with it again. So I've got to go back to basics, yeah. and um, you know, cope with the pressure. I mean, I got let off tonight. Big time. I can't believe I got let off. Um, you know, Nigel, I know, and, and he's from one of the Green King pubs, and and uh, but. You know, I'm, I'm quite happy now, to be quite honest. Rod, it's good to see you back. Oh, well, well done. I'd like to be back on the big stage and uh, kick Taylor's proverbial you-know-what. But um, it's a lot of hard work, you know. Yeah. The, you've, you've, got to, you've got to take this game as a professional sport now. If you think you're just going to uh, walk up there and throw darts, that's not going to happen. And that's why Colin Lloyd has changed his game in the last year. He's gone from all the other players have just... Uh, playing darts and going, I'm a great dart player. No, he's got up there, he's practised hard, he's worked hard, and he's proved that he is. And he's moved out of the pack towards Phil Taylor. And all the others have got to take, take notice of what Colin Noy's done, otherwise they're going to get left behind. Um, and, and, you know, me and the Priestley and the Everson and the Warreners of old, of old age, um, we've got to do that as well. Um, <laughs> well and it's hard work. Rod, you're still in there though, so well it. done. I can't well believe done. it. I can't <laughs> believe it. I'm still in there. And I should have had, I can't believe it. I must have fed in something as I walked across there, you know. Well, I didn't do it. No. <laughs> well done, Rod. We'll see you in the next round. Thank you. Well done. And from one 